So in MS, we, we know from the research and also from our own clinical experience that about 40 to 60% of people will experience some type of cognitive difficulty across the illness. Most often this is memory and fatigue and concentration. These are the self-report that most people would present with. And quite often the, the memory difficulties that we see in MS are very different to other type of neurological conditions. In MS, it's quite often down to changes in concentration and being able to get information into the memory system and to be also able to quickly process information when we're dealing with it. And this is down to the changes in the brain that occur in MS, particularly around the myelin and information transfer. So it's different to other conditions where patients might have difficulty with um, storing and retaining information. So quite often when people come and they're experiencing changes in memory, uh, they're worried. They're worried about what this might mean for them and for their work in their school. And we would do a detailed evaluation of that and provide a, a, a plan for them. However, what we generally notice is that this is down to, as I said, concentration. So we would be encouraging people to set up a standard daily routine for their activities. And managing their fatigue is really important because the more tired you get and the more you have that cognitive fatigue, that will also affect your brain's ability to get information in and to concentrate on uh, information. So managing fatigue becomes a really important part of managing your memory. Using uh, memory aids, documenting the information, using a diary, writing and structuring information down that you want to, to uh, remember. Starting off the day perhaps with a good um, review of what you have to do, using your diary, writing information as you go along throughout the day and then recording it and checking it at the end of the day is going to be very valuable. Anything that's going to help assist you in structuring the information so that it goes into your brain in a nice, organised and efficient way is going to be really helpful. So if you don't have access to a neuropsychologist, which most people won't have, um, then information on uh, memory strategies, or it's also uh, known as uh, mnemonics, can be very, very useful. And quite often these are the same type of memory strategies that people use when they're studying or trying to take in large amounts of information on a regular basis. So it's breaking information down into manageable chunks and, and supporting that memory with memory aids as well. So we'd also know that one of the main rules that we would use is little and often. Small amounts of information done regularly is much better than trying to sit down and, and take in big chunks of information. So if you're in school or in work or in your daily life and you're trying to manage large pieces of information and you're worried about remembering it, quite often it's breaking down the task into shorter amounts of information um, so that it's much more manageable. Take a break, go back to the task again, and then uh, try and remember that piece of information but supporting you also with the use of things like calendars and diaries and other memory aids as well. So there's lots of ways around that. What we know generally in, in people with MS is that once the information goes in, it generally stays in quite well. The issue is uh, trying to get it in properly in, in the way that uh, the brain can store properly.